honestly at this point in my life i'm testing it before i freaking buy like period <laughs> What's up, car crew, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another video. I am super excited about today's video because I haven't done one of these in, I feel like, a year because I usually do this around the Sephora haul. If you have not seen the title of this video, today I'm going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale wish list slash recommendations. I am super excited. I honestly, you guys, have not bought makeup in mad long. I actually need to, like, restock so this is going to be one of the times where i am purchasing a lot of like rebuys and also i am planning to purchase a lot of like perfume and some products that i've seen go viral or things that i just have been wanting to try so i'm super excited to be telling you guys all about my wish list slash recommendations so of course if you are new to my channel hi my name is courtney janine i do beauty fashion and lifestyle content here on this channel so definitely subscribe join the core crew family down below and let's get into today's video all right you guys so before we talk about my wish list and my recommendations for this year's sale i want to give you guys a brief overview in case you are not familiar with this annual sale that sephora hosts every single year basically sephora has a rewards program so it's completely free to sign up and there are three different tiers when you first sign up you are into the insider program i don't know the specific cause and i don't think i want to know because i'm at the top i'm at the top <laughs> out of the three so i don't know what i do not want to know how much i had to spend to make it there but anyways after you spend a certain amount you get added to the vip category and then the highest is rouge for this year's sale the rouge members get 20 percent off from october 28th to november 7th vip get 15 percent off from november 1st to november 7th and then the insiders get 10 percent off from November 3rd to November 7th. And you can just mention the sale at checkout if you are in store and then online you need to use the code savings. And throughout October 28th from the beginning of the sale to the end to November 7th, you are able to get 30% off of the Sephora collection which is Sephora's makeup brand. So that's everything about the holiday savings event. I love this event. Honestly, more and more I'm like, wait. Every single year I kind of get like mad because I'm like, 20% isn't really a sale. But for these high-end makeup brands, it is, girl. And I get excited every year and I make a huge list. I don't usually get everything, but I'm super excited. And like I mentioned before, I am Rouge, so I get 20% off. And I have already made my list, so we're just gonna go through my list. First, I'm gonna break up my wish list from my rebuys to my new products that I want to pick up. Okay, you guys, so starting off with my rebuys, I am going to be getting a lot of fancy beauty you guys i just realized in my last like let's talk to check everybody with me while i was going through i have a lot of fenty beauty products that i purchased that are really getting in a pan and so there's a lot that i need to rebuy and that includes the fenty beauty invisa matte powder that is a makeup staple for me it just sets all of my makeup really really well and also in between filming or in between a night out i always like to touch up my makeup with that blotting powder they have have since improved the blotting powder since I have purchased it so I'm super excited to try it the new upgraded powder and with Fenty Beauty they have a lot of sustainable products so honestly I only need to purchase the refill and not so much the whole thing so I'm super excited to try the upgraded formula next up I need to get a new matchstick you guys I have beaten my truffle to death okay like I literally use it every time that I like to bronze and I think I do I have seen like other bronzing or bronzers cream bronzers that i could use but the matchstick just does me right every single time so i definitely need to repick that up and then i also i finally tried out the dr dennis gross skincare universal daily pill i got the trial size which had i think about five in it and my skin absolutely loved it i have been taking a break from like my monthly maintenance so i haven't gotten to get my hair done i haven't gotten brows done in a minute i haven't gotten my nails done in a minute i haven't gotten 
on to my facial and this has been the perfect like facial treatment at home it's really a daily pill you're supposed to use it every day but for someone with my skin type I just use it when I want to get that extra glow and it does so well like I really love this stuff so I'm going to be picking up 30 treatments and five bonus instead of just the trial so if you saw Kyra using these daily pills from Dr. Dennis Gross and you were like mm, does it really work it does it makes my skin look super duper glowy and it just leaves my skin like a fresh new layer like I mentioned before I haven't used it consistently I like to use it as like a special step in my routine but if you do need a little bit more or you want to use the daily it is for daily I just use it on and off so and then the last thing that I need to repick up you guys this is one of my favorite perfumes and I literally lost it like I don't know where it is and I know as soon as I purchase this a part of the sale I'm going to find it I'm literally gonna find it as soon as I purchase it again but this is Dolce & Gabbana the only one it smells so good shout out to makeup by Shania I think I actually bought this for the first time during the last sale it might have been in like their spring sale but you guys smell so good the perfect vanilla scent it is kind of like my staple I feel like and I haven't had it in a long time so I've been using my old factory Janine fragrance that I made in New York but I actually really 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 love this perfume and I literally realized it a couple not a couple days ago maybe a month ago and I started to look for it and I still cannot find it so I'm just gonna repurchase but that is something that I really really want to repurchase and this isn't really a repurchase but I'm gonna talk about it now because I have smelled this um, perfume but it is the, the Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry you guys I have been obsessed with Tom Ford's Bitter Peach no Lost Cherry Lost Cherry I heard people talking about um, Bitter Peach and I smelled it trash then I smelled lost cherry and I was like oh my gosh okay I see what people are talking about with the Tom Ford fragrances but that price tag y'all like I like to give black girl luxury but at the end of the day um your girl is still working towards that right so when they came out with this fragrance you guys it smells identical to it and I just cannot wait to add it to my perfume collection because it smells so good I feel like it's perfect for the fall and the winter because it's so warm but still like it's inviting uh I just cannot wait to get my full bottle of this but yeah you guys I have smelled it and I do suggest like whenever you are purchasing perfumes I've gotten burned so many times by like just slime buying but honestly at this point in my life I'm testing it before I freaking buy like period now you guys I'm going to move into my new things that I want to pick up that I haven't tried before first up we have the Fenty Skin Butter Drop Holiday Edition it has like tropical oils and it has gold shimmer in it i cannot wait to pick this up i think it's an online exclusive because i did try to purchase it like not too long ago and i was in store and she was like no we don't have it and i was like what the heck like um i guess this is god telling me to save my money for the sale so i'm super excited about this because i actually really love the fenty skin butter drop like the original i think it smells good i think that it leaves my skin super soft and moisturized so i cannot wait to try it with the tropical oils i'm hoping it smells something like the bum bum cream that sort of vibe but we'll see when I get it and I am definitely going to be doing a haul so you guys can see what exactly I picked up but yeah this is on my wish list next up I have a number of products from refi ref why? I don't know how you really say it. Refi, Refi, or I don't know, but I have a lot of products from this brand because I saw Leah's face use it and she was raving about it. And I actually went in store a couple of weeks ago and I just tested out the products because your girl is a conscious shopper now, okay? I'm not just a reckless spender, okay? Kind of, but not really. I'm reformed a little bit. So I just had to like test it out a little bit and I tested out the Glow and Sculpt Face Serum primer y'all when I tell you it just really just made my and I just tried it on my um hand literally it just made my skin feel so glowy very moisturized just I like a dewy face I love a dewy face I love a gloss and this seems like the perfect primer for me next up I also have the lip sculpt lip liner and setter this is in the color sepia sepia this is something that I also I just love a brown lip I feel like chestnut is tired of me calling on her every time I want to do a new lip and I just want to try I love to try different brown liners I always go back to chestnut but I do like to try and I've heard good things about this liner that it doesn't move at all so I'm excited to try and I hope it's the sort of warm brown that chestnut gets me and then lastly I also got the body glow well I didn't get yet but 
manifest the body glow highlighting serum from refi too this is for like your body sort of like body lava i guess from fenty beauty so i'm excited to try that as well and then lastly on my list is the charlotte tilbury refillable airbrush flawless finish brightening powder in tan deep i love a bright eye i want when i do my makeup i want to feel like i'm from the uk okay i want to feel like i am a london i'm a british baddie okay and the british the <laughs> british girls be having the bright under eye on a lot and i just want to try this i saw on um, tiktok someone was using it it really brightened up her face so i am super excited to add this to my list and honestly all of the charlotte tilbury products that i have seen I haven't been super impressed, but I still want to try this one because, I mean, the demo on TikTok was pretty impressive so I am excited to try this and it's definitely on my list this is what I have for now of course I feel like I'm going to be doing a few orders so this might just be my current list and after I purchase this I might go back and see more stuff but that is what's currently on my list if you have recommendations for eye creams that's a part of my skincare that I haven't really explored too much so if you have recommendations definitely let me know down below because I am in the market for a new eye cream everything else on my um, skincare routine I really like perfumes I'm pretty set besides the two that I want to pick up and yeah you guys let's get into my recommendations so honestly you guys if you have watched any of my makeup tutorials every single product that I use I recommend um, but I do want to highlight just a couple of things a part of my current routine that I would definitely recommend you pick up of course I already talked about things that I'm going to repurchase so I definitely would recommend it for you is the Invisible matte powder by Fenty Beauty and also the matchsticks by Fenty Beauty I feel like there's so many different colors and you can definitely get the perfect contour bronzer for you but other than that i definitely recommend the rare beauty always an optimist four in one mist oh you guys this is so good i feel like this is my third or fourth bottle which is insane i just love it i am someone who likes a dewy face a glowy face i don't want it to look like makeup i want it to look like skin and this is something that i use like between every single step just so that my skin is very like moisturized next up is another Another product and it is one that I definitely recommend you pick up it is from the Sephora um, collection It's their micro smooth powder I have it in the color tan I probably should pick up another one of these too because it is kind of hitting pan almost I use this for a lot of things I use it as an all over the face powder to set my face um, or finishing powder I also use it to kind of amplify my part in my wigs because it's just the perfect color I definitely recommend this and since Sephora's collection is 30% off throughout the wholesale I definitely would recommend picking up some of the Sephora collection products and this is one of the few products that I actually really really do love from Sephora collection I also really love their blushes but I don't need to repick them up because I purchased a lot during their last sale but they are micro smooth powder and their blushes are chef's kiss next up I do have the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray this is something that I love to set my makeup like I mentioned before I do love a glowy face so I do a lot of dewy products and things like that and this helps my makeup to stay in place it's not going nowhere it does have a strong smell to it so that's the only thing that I would be cognizant of but yes you guys this is definitely a must have in my routine and I feel like everything else that I use my concealer is a Ulta thing my lip gloss and stuff is from Ulta which I think I'm just gonna purchase some um things from Ulta too because I definitely need to re-up on my concealer and my lip gloss Ugh. but everything else I feel like oh the I use Fenty Beauty's bronzer love this this is caramel cutie this is one that I'm like going back and forth if I need to re-up because I am kind of hitting pan but not yet to like I need to get it and then the only other thing that I would really recommend is my powder. I use the Huda Beauty Loose Baking Powder and Kanufa and Blondie Balm. And everything else that I use is kind of like either drugstore or I don't feel like you need the products that I use. <laughs> like with my brows, I literally just use a e.l.f. brow gel. Like it's not too much but everything that i mentioned here is what i get from sephora and yeah you guys that is my recommendations oh and i definitely have 
some perfume recommendations. I really, really love the Kayali fragrances. I love the vanilla. I love citrus. I love Love Fest cherry. Yeah, you guys, that wraps up my recommendations for this year's Sephora VIB sale, as well as my current wish list. Let me know down below if you have any recommendations for eye cream. What products are on your list? Let me know down in the comments below. All in all, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Join the Core Crew family down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.